Hey guys, my name is Muhammad Kamran and in this video we're gonna talk about how to rig a truck when we are gonna animate it because some of you have commented on my previous video how I animated the truck and how things work. So this video is especially dedicated to the same question that some of, some of, someone of you have asked and we are gonna be first rigging it then animating it. So rigging it is very simple and very fast. For this purpose, we're gonna use an add-on called Rig a Car. So just go ahead and search for a Rig a Car add-on for Blender. I'm gonna search for these, and you have these in GitHub. Just click it, click the first link, and you will be redirected to this page. If you click this code, just click download zip, and it will start downloading it. As you can see, it's been downloaded. Now it's time to, to install it. So go to Edit, Preferences, and go to Add-ons, click Install, go to Download, and find the Rig Call Add-on, okay, for Blender. You know, I have it here. Just, uh, just click Install Add-on, and it will be installed. I have already installed, and uh, I'm just gonna search for this. As you can see, we have Rigging, Rig Call, Generate Call, Rig, you know and then click save preferences and it will be saved okay so how to use it first so in order to use it you must name the body the parts of the car the same way as it's supposed to be for example if the name is wrong then it's not going to work let me just explain it in a second okay so this is the main body of the car select it rename it like body okay i'm going to rename it like body this is the this is the tire which is front tire into the left side so what i'm gonna rename it i'm gonna rename it like wheel dot ft which means front and then dot dot l which is the left side hit enter now if you select the second side it's also a wheel which is wheel dot front which is right side click dot port and hit enter now this tire now select it click it rename it like wheel dot back dot left because it's a left side and then now this tire i'm going to rename it like wheel dot bk which means back and dot r which is right side hit enter now it's gonna it's gonna rig in a few seconds select every single part of the car as we have turned on the add-on you can click shift a go to armature and you will see car deformation rig click it and if you go to wireframe as you can see it have created bones for the body parts and for every single tire okay what you need to do hit n you will be here item but go to rig a car and click generate and now the rig is generated successfully it will work better and it will work the same way you want it to be you can do so much thing with this add-on like you can do drifting as you can see you can move it as you can see you can uh you can just turn the tire on what direction you want the front tires you can move you can move the body as you wish it to be and there are so many other controls on your tire like this one which 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 actually does that and you can also do some more cool stuff with ground sensor here you have to select the ground you then have to select the ground sensor dot right left and you have to select all of the objects that are mentioned and then if you animate these the if you animate it then it will interact with the ground and this is what really great about this add-on okay so our main purpose is to animate it the same way as i have done in my previous video so it's pretty easy what you need to do first we have to create a camera so we have to see it from some angle so i'm gonna create a camera go to camera view and then hit n go to view and camera to view i'm just gonna move it to here 
like that uh, i'm just gonna click camera okay so i'm gonna select the rig go to pose mode and then i'm gonna select the man root bone i'm gonna rotate it like that i'm gonna move it let me just cr create a plan in order to just or just using it as a reference that we have something we have something that the car must interact with i'm gonna go to pause mode i'm gonna move it down like that okay so we are supposed to animate it let me just rotate it slightly like that and this is what we want it to be like okay so now what we can do we can now animate these objects you know first what we can do we're gonna move these like that because this is just a first frame so it's already been rotated i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a, a keyframe by clicking i we will first animate the tires then we're gonna animate the whole body or we can just start off with the body maybe yeah i'm gonna delete the keyframe i'm gonna start it with the body I'm gonna hit I and I'll add a keyframe uh, after some frame like of uh, maybe 80. I'm gonna rotate it. Okay, maybe I can change it to local and turn on the gizmo and then move it slightly forward. Hit I for location and rotation. okay so i think it's been rotated very much and we have to slightly move it that way and then click i again if we can turn on these auto keyframing and then after that it will move forward okay like that okay Okay, so no other stuff is going on, like the tires are not rotating, the tires are not oriented the same as it's supposed to be. So now it's time to animate those tires. First, we're gonna animate these. I'm just gonna rotate it like that. When it turns, the tires get into its actual position as they're supposed to have be. I'm gonna rotate it and Get this straight up and on the ending frame, I'm just going to move it slightly this way. So, as you can see, it's perfectly rotating. And now, what we can do, I, you can also do it with a drift controller, like uh, I have done it by rotating it. But if you want, you can just do it with this, okay? It's not something very scary or very difficult, but you just have to think about it. You just have to use every single controller in order to know it. Okay, so now it's time to rotate uh, the tires or to drive the tires. We have a rotation controller for the tire. I'm gonna select both of them. If you rotate it on positive. Okay, so we are supposed to rotate it on positive side. You know, I'm gonna click I for rotation and go to end and I'm gonna rotate it. Okay, so in the beginning, it is slow, okay? In the beginning, it will be very slow, like uh, the frame 80. I'm gonna rotate it on. Uh, I'm gonna rotate it uh, on a positive. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it 360, maybe, or we can change the value. Okay. I think uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna invert. 
invert these two keyframes because uh, they are not rotating the same way as I want them to be. So I'm just gonna do it. And to the end, it will be rotating very faster. So I'm gonna rotate it. And X axis on 600 degree, maybe. Okay, so it's perfectly rotating as I want them to be. If you play it, as you can see, it's rotating. But I think if you want to make it faster, you can do it by just rotating it on X on 360 again. Hit enter. And it will be a little bit faster than before. Okay, so we have to do the same process with the back tires as well. I'm going to select both of the controllers. And for the beginning, we're going to add a rotation keyframe. Go to frame 80 and rotate it on X on 360, maybe degree. I'm just checking it if it's working or not. Yeah, it's rotating. Okay, to the end, it will be very faster, like it will be rotated on X, rotated on X on 900 degree enter. And maybe you can make it linear. If you go to camera view, I'm just gonna. Yeah, it's rotating. And you can go to in frame, you can increase it maybe. Rotate it and X on 360 degree to make it faster. Okay, so I think that's done and now it's time to save it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to rename it something like uh, just, to, you know. And I think it's working perfectly. And this is how you can animate it. You can, if it's a supercar or something, you can add a drift effect or a turning effect or whatever you want to call it. You can just dance it, dance it around. You know, you can just control your tires with these controllers and you can do whatever you want to wish with it. So guys, thanks for watching. If you want to have something more like that, you can subscribe to our channel and also like this video, share it with people you love or the artist you know or the friend you have because they might motivate them to work on this field. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned and stay healthy. Bye.